Hello everybody, GamerPenny here bringing you a brand new series for our YouTube channel. We are going to be playing through a game called The Council. Now The Council is a game that is episodic, just like Telltale games, um, but I've heard it's more robust than Telltale games, and there's an element of RPGs to it. So I'm pretty excited about this dang game. Um, there is only one episode out right now, and normally I would not play a game that only has one episode out. But I'm really excited and I really don't want to wait. I would rather play this game now. So let's go ahead. I think we've got all our settings and stuff um, good to go for YouTube. So let's go ahead wee, and do new game. Consult your... I wasn't done reading that. France. Paris. December the 10th. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. In French. Are we tied up together? Do we have a black eye? Oh, God. Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. Hmm. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a happened few to more us minutes in Rome. And my concoction will be ready. I think that was a code. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard. Von Borchard. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Um, so we can either act or trust her. I'm going to trust her. Please, be my guest, mother. We unlocked trusting. Uh. Uh. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, 
You're no spring chicken anymore. Oh, dang. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. He just straight up hit him with the chair. Consult your journal. <laughs> Dang it. It won't let me read it. <laughs> One month later. January the 20th. Lord Mortimer's Island off the coast of England. Hmm. Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide Present. The Council. I bet. I bet it's gonna... Oh, a game by Big Bad Wolf Studio. Can we have the name drop? Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The council. There it is. So his mom's gone missing? Episode 1, The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. Can I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is and think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir. What brings you here? My missing mom. Um... Business with Lord Mur Mortimer. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. Hmm. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Turn the question back to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Hmm. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. <laughs> ah! Uh-oh. Are you right? <sighs> What's going on? That face looks absolutely ridiculous. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! <gasps> so? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. 
What happened to her hand? Why Are she you beat up? Absolutely sure. Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't. What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. He's got a bloody nose. What do you have? Like some sort of... You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't... Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll... Catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. What do we have? Some sort of like psychic thing going on? I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be -A -S -D. real. The Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Can we look at this stuff? Can I? Man, the camera is super slow. All right, let's walk around. What's this glowing? Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, your class. Diplomat, occultist, detective. The occultist is a master... Okay, diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as the people he questions. Hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. I'm going to go with Diplomat. He avoids faux pas and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. I like that. Oh my god. What is all this? Um, diplomat unlocks the conviction, linguistics, diversion, etiquette, and politics skills. You now have seven effort points to, your, to use your skills. You, your past granted you one skill point in manipulation and one skill point in psychology. Skill not acquired, skill not acquired. So we can get... Uh, diplomat. Convince people with the sheer force of your will and attitude. Dir divert people's attention, change a subject, or avoid questions. Express your grasp of the geopolitical situation. Nation's interests. Translate all kinds of documents and conversations in foreign languages. Adopt the appropriate behavior for every social situation. Also used to formulate flattery or veiled insults. We have seven points. Let's do this. Convince people with sheer force of your will and attitude. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Let's do this one. One, two, three... We have zero available. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay.
Um, do I want to put them all in here? Or do we want to add? Yeah, let's just put them all in there. Okay. Space. There we go. A diplomat. Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away. Thanks to a little diversion I came Look up with her to keep the corset. Away. <laughs> Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Not at all, so lie to her. Not at all, sorry. Uh... Let's say sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather <laughs> elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. Okay. Validate. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Um, personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerability vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed. Vulnerability revealed. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Huh. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtained talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Um, okay. Inventory. Laws of gallantry. Double thorn. Emily's handkerchief and the invitation. Journal. Immunity to logic. And her vulnerability is to be discovered. Louis Piaggi Giuseppe and Sarah. Character. Talents. Diplomatic mastery. Diversion. Conviction. Etiquette. I see. Dang, my god. There's so much to do in all this. Succeed ten confrontations. Succeed two confrontations. Reach level three. Diversion and subterfuge. Traits. Charismatic. You gain one skill point in manipulation. You've always been charismatic. 
Your one skill point in psychology, you trusted your mother. Dim diplomatic class skill costs less to acquire. Dang. Okay. Let's go up to the manor. Hello, who are you? Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis, Louis Morass de Richet. Morass. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Um, where is Lord Mor What do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. Hmm. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of this in effort points. Okay. Difficulty zero, questioning unlocked. Questioning locked. Have you found anything here? Oh, we can't do it. Are there any witnesses? Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S D R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Conviction level one. We can do that one. You'll give me back the handkerchief. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please hand it over now. But, sir, I'll I... I'll speak directly to your master about it. It will be a very long conversation. Uh, of course, sir. Please, take it. On that note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Okay, so we've got... It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Can we look around? Like, what could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Um, let me look at the character. Oh, and the, um, servants. Vulnerability conviction. So we can get the servants to tell us what we want. Immune to logic is all we know about her. Okay. Can we look around the wharf? Like, is there something for us to pick up? I can't go this way? Yes, I can. What's this? A wooden floorboard. Examine. It probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Okay, is there anything else this way? Open the gate. 
I'll never get it open barehanded. We could pick it if we had subterfuge. All right, step back. Okay. Um, man, the camera the camera moves really slowly. We might see if we can turn that up between episodes. Let's see. Is there anything else we can look at here? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Okay. What about this? Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Okay, we got some Royal Jelly. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. All right. What about this? Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. Hmm. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Take the bar. This might just come in handy. Where'd you put that? Never mind. I do not want to know. Let's look it's at this. Like the seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Okay, what about over here? What's this? Royal jelly. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Okay. Nothing over here. Oh, some letters. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Difficulty logic. Examine Let's this. Um, the envelope has ideograms on it. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. I know that language. It's letters in Japanese. It's it's addressed to a certain K Shutaro in Tokyo. Um, this one. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. How about this? It's too badly written. I I can't make out the address. Or this one? The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Other letters? Uh, let's just look at all of them. Sender's address. Rue de Cluny, Rue de Maturin, Paris. I guarantee this letter is for my mother. The address is a hideout for the Golden Order. If you write anyone over there, you have to watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dochoa? Let's see what's inside this letter. Hmm. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets. Always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Hmm. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this man of Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Man of Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Politics. Ah, it's coming back to me. Godoy is the head of the Spanish government. He was appointed by King Charles IV, if I'm not mistaken. Rumor has it that he's very close to the queen. Too close. Much too close. But hey, that's none of my business. He has a reputation of being upright and proud, very attached to the aristocracy, and close to Louis XVI. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right. So we got that. Um. The lantern. 
nothing special. Is anything over here? All right. I don't think so. So I think we've looked at everything we can on the wharf. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. So guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Council Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.